Hi, this is Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com, and I've got my Nook color here. And I wanted to show this to you because uh, today Barnes & Noble came up with a, uh, an update that turns the Nook color into a little bit more of an Android tablet. It added Android 2.2 Froyo operating system. And as a result of that, this 1.2 update from Barnes & Noble, uh, the Barnes & Noble updates 1.2, which makes the operating system 2.2. I know it's a little confusing, but uh, it adds the App Store. And as you can see, I have the App Store open. All right, this is what the uh, screen looks like while you're installing the update. After you copy over the update to your device, it will, after a little while, automatically notice it and begin to perform the update. Uh, you notice the little marker down there it's showing that it's nearly complete this happens automatically there's not really much you have to do other than copy it over uh, once you've done that it uh, begins the update process on its own now that it's finished performing the update the Nook Color is rebooting itself and again you don't have to do anything it just automatically performs the update and goes into this reboot mode now this is the first time I've booted it up since applying the 1.2 update it looks pretty similar to um, what it looked like before I applied the uh, 1.2 update it is taking a little bit longer for it to load than it did before but that's to be expected and there you have it it's ready to go so we hit the uh, swipe to turn it on and right here at the beginning it doesn't look a whole lot different than it did before so let's go in and check out the apps. That's pretty much the same as it had uh, before, although I see that says new, Nook Friends. Don't know what that is. That's probably some kind of social networking feature built into the new Nook color. You can see the screen flicker on here. That's obvious. Uh, this isn't as good a screen as other tablets. It says, Welcome to Nook Friends Beta. Going just a little bit closer on that. Nook Friends is a place for people who love to share the, their love of reading. You can connect with others, get their opinions, latest bestsellers, discover new books based on their recommendations, or use exclusive Lend Me feature to borrow books from friends for free. Nook Friends lets you enjoy reading together. Nook Friends is a beta release, which means we will be updating and improving the experience real-time as we get feedback from you. Alright, so, going to done. Let's pull back out a little bit. And uh, we don't have any friends. Here's a Lend Me feature where I can lend some of the books that I have in here. Of course the only ones installed on here right now are those two. I don't own a lot of books to be quite honest with you. I uh, have used my Nook Color rooted and read Amazon books on it most often. So after applying the update we have down here the little notification and it gives you that information. It comes up and shares some information about the new software version. Your new co Nook Color just got better. It's been updated with the latest software version and offers you more ways to read and connect and explore. It's got over 100 Nook apps from Angry Birds to Uno, Lonely Planet, Facebook, and new recipes from the app from Epicurious. So we'll discover those and check those out. So for the first time we just went into the shop and it looks fairly similar but it did it has these uh, things that pop up here and it's showing you all the different stuff that's available, different books and things. And one of the things it said was that there are some apps available. So we'll go ahead and hit Browse and you notice this bottom one says Apps. So there's a Drawing Pad, Ace's Jewel Hunt, Angry Birds for $2.99, Pocket Ants, Easy PDF Reader. So you see some of the same kinds of apps that you can get on the iPad or other iOS devices also in Android um, there's just gonna be fewer of them here to start with so when you go into the App Store here and you find an app that you're interested in I went ahead and checked out this uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check out this flick calendar app 
and notice it gives you information about it. Uh, customer reviews, which no one's written review yet. Some screenshots of the app, and you can check those out. And they scroll. And more like this, there's now uh, aren't any available at this time. So let's say we decide, hey, you know, we're going to give it a try. It's only free. And so we hit the free button and the confirm. It says processing. And then it goes to downloading. And you notice how quickly that uh, downloading pro progress error, uh, a bar went. So then you hit open. And it'll open. And it looks like a uh, basically a, an Android app. Gives you this information. Tell you about the, the app a little bit to get started. And so that's a, the calendar app. Now I haven't played with this so I can't recommend this app but it was free and I just wanted to kind of show it to you. You go down here to your apps. And so now uh, the Flick calendar app is loaded. Now what I do notice there is at the start it doesn't have any um, it doesn't have an icon there and I'm not sure what the problem with that is I already downloaded the Pulse news reader and I haven't actually opened it yet so this is the first time I'm opening it up um, so you know if you've used Pulse before then you know this uh, looks fairly familiar but we'll hit the home button take us back to the home screen hit the apps again and so once again you notice unfortunately there's no icon for that I'm guessing that a reboot will fix that we'll have to try that out and uh, see if that's the case so it'll be interesting to see what they end up getting um, but if you're a Nook fan and you really love your Nook this is probably a, a good option um, personally I've been using my Nook rooted primarily so that I can read Android apps and get email through Google that kind of thing so not sure how useful I'll find this I look forward to uh, what the uh, XDA developers forum shows about it all the Nook devs developers what they do to uh, root this thing and, and get it working again with um, uh, make it more of a, a tablet like feature than just an ebook reader with apps the, uh, the new browser uh, is a little bit different. One of the things you'll notice, I've got it in the mobile mode. If you go into the uh, options here, check settings there, uh, hit this browser mode, you can change it and you can actually have it in a desktop in a version. So then we go back here, let's enter in an address. Now it's got some sort of a, a version of instant uh, preview there, and so um, you can just uh, let it auto complete a little there. Notebooks.com. But see now you show the uh, full browser version of it. But if you wanted to, now we go into back over to Gotta Be Mobile. See, that did a Google search for it, which is probably a little bit quicker than typing it on a tiny keyboard like that. And so now it's going to download the full desktop browser version of Gotta Be Mobile. And that's a nice feature. So some maps, some web pages, it's fine to use the mobile version of it. I like normally if I was on a, a tablet or my iPhone and I was wanting to check out one of the articles that we've written on this at, on our web page, the, the, the mobile version would be fine. But every once in a while, you want to see the full version of a website. So it's nice to be able to go in there real quick into your options and your settings and uh, then into browser mode and change that. I wish there was a quicker way to do that um, since that's a feature that I think I would probably use a lot. Uh, you know, I wish that you could do it right here and just click browser and, you know, even from the options button have toggle it from there. But it, does, it doesn't. So in a pinch, it'll do. So as I showed you, I downloaded the... 1.2 update from Barnes & Noble that brings Froyo to the Nook Color. And as a result, I am uh, I was able to show you the, um, the browser and go into the App Store, and I purchased this app, Crush the Castle. I'm going to have some fun with it. Uh, I recommend that you go ahead and get the update. It does uh, make your Nook a little bit better. Now, one problem you're going to have is if you rooted your Nook Color like I did, uh, you are definitely going to have to unroot it. 
and uh, I'll give you a link to that in the uh, uh, the article posted on Gotta Be Mobile with this uh, video. And you'll want to unroot that thing to get it updated. You may want to wait a few days. The folks at uh, the XDA Developers Forum will probably provide links to a rooted version of this if they're able to get it rooted. Uh, I, I sort of think they will. But uh, if you want to go ahead and play with it in the interim, it's worth it. And I recommend it. I, I'm glad that uh, it's got apps to it. And uh, the only reason I would not, um, the only reason I'm going to go ahead and root again once there, it's available is I still want to be able to read Amazon uh, Kindle books on my Nook Color. I've got a Kindle, I've got my iPad, but it's nice to be able to put those books on here uh, because I just really like the Nook Color for reading. But this has been Kevin Purcell at gottobemobile.com. Thanks for watching.